The Chinese stocks recorded their best single-day rally in 16 years after the country announced more stimulus measures amid an economic downturn. On Sunday, China's central bank announced a cut in lower mortgage rates for existing home loans by the end of October, providing support to the country's crisis-hit property market. Meanwhile, major cities like Guangzhou, Shanghai and Shenzhen unveiled measures to ease curbs on home purchases, boosting home buyer sentiment and pushing property stocks higher. And uh, have the steps taken by China enough to stimulate the economy? What would it mean for India and other emerging markets? Prashant Nair is here with a deep dive on the issue. Prashant. Well, thanks very much uh, for that. You know, uh, for two years now, uh, it's been a slow and reluctant uh, sort of easing which China has done, right? Uh, last week's easing measures announced by the Central Bank in China and the surprise economy-focused September Politburo meeting seemed to break away from the previous piecemeal style of policy easing and provide a sizable dose of policy stimulus that the market has long been hoping for. Markets have responded in a big way. From their recent lows, the Shanghai index is up 23%. The Hang Seng-listed Chinese company index is up 26%. And the property index, the Shanghai property index, is up 36%. Remember, problems are in the property market, and that has seen a 36% rebound. Now, let's quickly run you through what China has done, right? Uh, it started with the central bank, that is PBOC, easing announcements uh, on Tuesday, that is last Tuesday, 24th of September. Uh, investors were not convinced. Markets wanted fiscal, not monetary. We had lots of monetary announcements, but they wanted fiscal. Guess what? The, Polit the surprise Politburo meeting, the first Politburo meeting in the month of September in the last five years, by the way, that's, that, that's how surprising it was. That was on the 26th of September, chaired by President Xi. And its read-through was that they were ready to do whatever was necessary, fiscal included, to support the economy. This is when investors started to come around. Uh, and at this point, in international media also started reporting that a fiscal package to the tune of between 2 and 3 trillion renminbi could be in the offing. Remember, there's nothing official yet on the size of this package, nothing confirmed yet. And then as we came back in on this Monday, uh, we learned that on Sunday, that is over the weekend, we've seen more measures. Most significantly, three out of the four top-tier mega cities in China allow, allowing big relaxations in terms of property purchases, lower sort of, you know, cut in down payments and lower mortgage rates and sort of basically easing of rules. Uh, well, the question is what from here? From a market, stock market standpoint, there are still skeptics. There are some who are turning a little, bit, little more believing. That is because we've had two mega rallies in Chinese stocks since 2020 COVID period, which look very big, right? To the tune of 50, 40%, but they eventually faded. This move so far is 26% from the lows. So the question becomes, does this have more legs? Looking at the past rallies, just purely looking at the numbers, there may be more to go, even if it doesn't uh, sort of turn into a big structural turnaround. Uh, but, you know, stocks will be wiser in hindsight. What can we expect in terms of things to watch out for? Some important events lined up. Tomorrow uh, is China's National Day, and President Xi normally delivers a speech to the country. Uh, it's not expected to be an economic speech, but this time... Uh, there's heightened attention whether he'll address the economy as well. Then on the 3rd of October, there are spe there's speculation that the Ministry of Finance in China might hold an ad hoc press conference to discuss the fiscal expenditure side as well. Uh, so these, this is the next sort of next steps in terms of what markets will watch out for. Remember, China enters a holiday period from tomorrow all the way till the 11th of September. So no sort of market response in that sense because th they'll be shut. But headlines on the economy side will be closely watched. Back to you. All right. Uh, thank you, Prashant, uh, for that update. And speaking of China, where